Located in the southwest of England, Cornwall is a part of the West Country known for its outstanding natural beauty, sandy beaches, historic castles, fishing villages and so much more. In fact, it and the Lake District are often regarded as the two best outdoor locations in the UK. With so much on offer, spread out across almost 1,400 square miles, it can make deciding where to stay in Cornwall quite a challenge. In this video, I'm going to walk you through Cornwall on a virtual tour, pointing out interesting features and landmarks, and telling you about all of the characteristics of some of the city's most inviting and fascinating areas. I'll start with St Ives located in West Cornwall. St Ives is one of the most popular places to stay in Cornwall. The reason St Ives is such a popular holiday destination is that it has options that appeal to a wide range of visitors. For starters, St Ives has a number of beautiful beaches, such as Carbis Bay Beach. This makes St Ives ideal for anyone hoping to have a relaxing break walking and sitting on the sand. Penzance is located in West Cornwall, less than 10 miles from the most southeastern point in the United Kingdom, Land's End. At the heart of Penzance, you will find Chapel Street, the former main street of the town. With attractions like the Egyptian House, Branwell House, the Union Hotel and the Georgian Theatre, it is a great place to take a stroll and soak up some history. Next destination is in one of the most popular areas of Cornwall, Padstow. Located on the northwest coast of Cornwall, it began to gain traction for having some of the most outstanding natural beauty spots in the region. The Marble Cliffs and the Tregudder Gorge are both fabulous places to see how millions of years of erosion from the sea has affected the landscape. For the more adventurous, there is also the Round Hole, a collapsed sea cave, for you to explore. Newquay is an incredibly popular place to stay in Cornwall. A former fishing village, it has become one of the most famous surfing destinations in the United Kingdom. With numerous beaches and surf schools, it is a great place to hit the waves, no matter how much experience you have. Fistral Beach is perhaps the most popular option. With waves from the Atlantic Ocean breaking onto Golden Sand, it is ideal for surfers and casual tourists alike. Further east along the south coast you'll come to the town of Lui. Originally formed as two separate towns, East Lui and West Lui, connected by a bridge over the River Lui, it is centered around a beautiful harbour. Known primarily as a fishing village, a number of fishing dealers operate in the town quay in East Lui. This makes it a fabulous choice for anyone seeking to enjoy some fresh seafood. There is also Lui Island just offshore, for anyone who really wants a watery getaway. The town of Bude is located on Cornwall's north coast. While historically a busy fishing town, it is now known primarily as a tourist destination. With plenty of small businesses and sandy beaches, it's a great place to stay in Cornwall for some good clean family fun. The town of Port Isaac is primarily known as a fishing village. Its picturesque harbour is one of the most important points for the fishing industry along the Cornish coast. For years people have come here to enjoy the outstanding natural beauty on offer, as well as the relaxing atmosphere that accompanies it. Truro is the administrative capital of Cornwall, its only city, as well as the most southerly city in the United Kingdom. This means you are much more likely to find things like large chains and high street stores than you would elsewhere in Cornwall. While this may make it more appealing to those who enjoy their home comforts while away, it shouldn't put off those looking for a more traditional experience either. Falmouth is located on the east coast of Cornwall, about 11 miles south of Truro. Throughout history it has remained an important location as the largest port in Cornwall. While not as busy as it once was, the docks still represent a huge portion of the city's economy to this day. St. Just is located in the very southwest of Cornwall, seven miles west of Penzance, and just six miles north of Land's End. In fact, it is recognised as the most westerly town in all of mainland Great Britain. It is also one of only two towns located within the famous Cornwall area of outstanding natural beauty. Bodmin is located at the very centre of Cornwall, making it an excellent destination for those who are planning to explore more than one area. The former capital of Cornwall, it is one of the more built-up areas in the region. Our next destination is connected to a last by the River Fowey. Located on the south coast, it has long been an important trading point, due to its beautiful, natural harbour. The combination of its river and seafront location make it a great place, to stay in Cornwall for anyone wanting, to take a boat trip. Whether it be a quick water taxi or a longer voyage, it's a perfect way, to get out on the water. St Austell is again located on the south coast, the time to the west of Fowey, and is one of the largest towns in Cornwall. However, the majority of its visitors are actually looking for somewhere to stay in Cornwall, while they visit the attractions located in the surrounding area. Tintagel is located on the west coast of Cornwall, less than 10 miles north of Port Isaac. While it can still be enjoyed for many of the same reasons as the rest of Cornwall, the primary reason people visit Tintagel is for its archaeological value. 
Cornwall is a wonderful location that's equally brilliant, whether you want a relaxing vacation enjoying beaches and quaint villages or a fast-paced trip surfing and taking in the sights. Hopefully, this video will have helped you decide where to stay in Cornwall to best meet your own needs. All that's left is to start getting things booked so you can set off on your perfect trip and experience it all for yourself as soon as possible.